Hey everybody, welcome to the first installment of Pastrami Nation Issues. My name is Nolan Smith and I am the editor and co-founder of Pastrami Nation, the meat of pop culture. With Issues, the goal is to bring audio-only podcasts dedicated to the review of single-issue comic books. So no trade paperbacks, no collections here, just single issues. For this first installment, we're going to be talking about Vault Comics Mall Number 1. Written by Michael Morisi and Gary Doberman, and drawn by Zach Hartong, colored by Addison Duke, and lettered by Jim Campbell. If you are not familiar with Vault, uh, I have to say you're missing out. They have given us some amazing series in the past, including Fearscape, Friendo, and right now, Resonant is currently running. Mall number one is a brand new series for Vault, and it has a really strong debut issue. So the story goes, the world as we know it has ended. It's always a great way to kick off a story. And by doing so, civilization has been forced into whatever they can find. So with this story, civilization goes on inside of an abandoned mall, hence the title. So in this mall, you have various gangs, various uh, groups in society trying to coexist, but also all wanting the the leadership, all wanting to be all-powerful. So we see at the beginning how life can be pretty dramatic right as soon as we get into the first issue. And then we see a very questionable situation with our main character, Andre, who is framed for the murder of the leader of this mall society. Um, He is tracked down by the daughter of this leader, who seems more gung-ho and ready to assume leadership than she is in missing her father. So the book goes with Andre being on the run, trying to escape impossible odds. Uh, We get into a very uh, uh, Warriors-type situation, a lot of different gangs going at it, Uh, a lot of very um, diverse-looking gangs you have uh, inside of this mall, which really adds to the world building here. Uh, Andre goes about trying to find his way, trying to get out, and is sentenced to be banished outside the mall, seemingly into oblivion. He gets some help from an unlikely source, who is someone we actually see at the very beginning of the book. And we are left with a cliffhanger as he follows this unknown person into, I guess you would say, a basement or tunnels, what is underneath the mall. I really enjoy the story. Uh, Maurice and Dalberman have created something that's really cool and enjoyable. They gave us um, a protagonist, and Andre is someone that we can project ourselves into, uh, being kind of thrown into things and then just being constantly on the go. Um It'll be interesting to see what's going on with him. And with Andre, of course, he's also the son of a very uh, prestigious person inside the society. So we see a lot of mention of that. So it'll be interesting to see how that goes and to see where he ends up as they go beneath uh, the scene surface. Uh, The art here is a little rough, uh, but given the nature of the story and the violence, uh, this type of art works for me. Um, I do like the action scenes. I really enjoy the character designs here. Um, I really think this is something that would appeal to people who are fans of the Warriors, who are fans of post-apocalyptic tales like, I don't know, The Walking Dead. Uh, This is something that I would recommend to go check out. For Mall number 1, I give it a 9.0 out of 10. Make sure you go check it out. Go to your local comic shop. Ask for mall number one from Vault Comics. Uh, If you are in the high desert, I recommend you heading over to Line Breakers. That is where I picked up my copy. And if you're not in the high desert, go to any comic shop and just ask them for mall number one from Vault Comics. And they can get a hold of it for you. Uh, I want to thank you for tuning in to the first installment of Pastrami Nation Issues. 
Again, if for all your pop culture news, reviews, videos, all those type of needs, make sure you head over to pastramination.com. Also, follow us on social media on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and believe it or not, on Pinterest. Thank you, and I look forward to diving into more issues with you as we move forward. So make sure to check out pastramination.com, the meat of pop culture.